has arrived and like every year at this time a process of reflection letting go of the old to make space of the new always starts in me it is a time I want to be silence and disappear into the different forests around our old village house and also that the constant changes of the Nordic winter weather bring its different colors to my soul One day is the same as yesterday this time at the year. Every day has its own colors and energy. And I am like a little girl that can't wait to wake up in the morning to see what new colors nature will bring me this day. And on my way to pick up what feels like number thousand bag of firewood, firework, firewood today. It's like we now have like a week where it's only been minus uh, 20 Celsius and today is minus 35 Celsius. And I'm just, even though it's so beautiful. I am so tired. I'm so cold and so tired. And this is actually is around two o'clock now, so it's actually the sunset you're gonna you're seeing right now, because I have uh, been so slow because of the of the cold. It's really really been tough to yeah get going. <laughs> Besides just keeping warm. a love-hate relationship to the cold. I love the beauty by the cold. I love how it makes me feel so alive. It's rare that the cold gets to me. Mostly I find it very exciting with these extreme temperatures 
and enjoying the true experience of a true winter. But this week, with constant freezing cold temperatures, a pregnant, tired body, I just couldn't find the warm again, and this night became very tough. So I used most of the day and the evening making fire, pick up more firewood, trying to make some hot cacao with herbs and warm milk to make it cozy. But this is how it is with the cold. Sometimes it can be so hard to shake it off you again. And this night I was just done. Christine than yesterday. I never thought I would say this, but I woke up this morning and went outside and I was like, oh, it feels really nice today. Like the cold is not that bad. And then I realized that it was actually minus 20 still outside. But when you go from minus 34 to minus 20, it feels like almost spring. Oh, so I'm like completely not a different person today feel really happy up and going not that drained <laughs> that's amazing there is so many of you that have been asking if it isn't hard with the cold and being pregnant and yes <laughs> it is because i'm already using so much energy in my body you know keeping growing a child and the cold does require a lot of energy for the body as well and uh, so I feel I have been more sensitive to the cold this year than I was last year. So you know, it's a bit challenging. <laughs> it really is. And uh, look, the entrance to the forest. Feels a bit of going into Nani or something like that. <laughs> Tears? Are you? Hey! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Oy, oy. Hey! I tried yesterday to record a QA. <laughs> for you guys to answer all these questions I have got on I asked on Instagram if you had a question for me and I got a lot so much weird stuff just happened yesterday when I tried to record it went wrong with the camera or something weird with the store happened okay guys I'm putting my tripod and camera up for like recording a QA and a and I haven't really spe spoke so much about this old, old house. I am borrowing right now from my parents, but I experienced so many weird things and wish I had the camera on because this door, <laughs> I kid you not, was just closed and it just opened. <sighs> I've been thinking about, I really want to talk about these weird things I experience in this house. I'm not scared, but it's just, yeah, it's just so many weird things. And I don't have any window or anything open. So, trying to close it again. 
I think this is gonna be a video for another time where I can talk a bit about the things I experienced in this house. Um, it's not like I'm scared or anything, it's just uh, there's funny sounds here. And also, I haven't really told you about this house before. Um, you know, is I think I have to do it in another video, but it was it's really been this house has been a home for many generations. For many generations, do you say it like that? It's one of the oldest village houses here. And also we have on on behind the house that is the old baking house where the whole village uh, got together and uh, baked bread in the old days and this house was a home for two families um also the bathroom is in there and that bathroom is actually an old kitchen you can still see the old stove so it's not really a bathroom you just we just been putting a shower in there um so it's actually been home for two families and i have been experiencing some really really fun stuff here <laughs> and here are some really funny noises even the dogs have been reacting on it even Calida doesn't believe in stuff like that um he has also heard noises we can't explain so but it's not scary it's okay it's just a bit scary when the door open up in front of you <laughs> And you just know that there is absolutely no explanation to it. You that can maybe be maybe it could be from a window or something that could push the door, but there's no nothing open, so yeah. Also another one. Um this old I don't know if you can see it, this old ones here came with the house. Really beautiful. But I have to lock them. I would really have to lock them because if they're not locked, like with a key, this one will open as well. I have experienced several times. So, yeah, <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> I pick up my computer instead because I have actually received over 100 Christians. So I felt when I look at my phone, I got a bit overwhelmed and just have to handpick some of the Christians out. You have come with so many good Christians, like deep Christians, and I really had to think a bit about what to answer them. Okay, the first question is, how are you? And I feel it's a really good first question to start with, um, because it is January and uh, we have stepped into a new year. But January is also for me my birth month, so I'm also turning a year older. And because of that, I am, I automatically begin to reflect a lot about the path I'm on. I've used the first weeks in January to, um, to question myself, is this path I'm on is still something that feels right to me and it is even though if i have to be honest i have also uh, lately have a bit of a judgment towards myself instead of a curiosity i normally go with into the world if that makes sense like i am a very curious person and i i normally always am more like oh let's see what's gonna happen if i do this or why do this person do like that and instead of having a judgmental um, approach to people and myself. Since I moved to the cabin, I have had some, I don't know if that's the right term for it, but I have some driving words, some, some words that have been uh, main words for me. And those two words have been reconnect and rewild. Because it became very clear to me uh, through these years that the more I'm connecting with simple things that makes uh, life being very, <laughs> very a human life for me, I feel more alive and happy. The more I simplify my life and going back to basic things, learning how to grow in my garden, like growing my own food my, with my own hands, like is so incredible 
amazing feeling when you see things growing. And going back to old kitchen skills and learning how to cook from scratch and, and how to do old recipes. Um, walking into the forest and figuring out what you can eat in the forest and what kind, what the different plants and herbs and, and even also something that really um, is standing strong for me lately is like beginning to recognize how healthy nature feels like. What is actually a live forest? How does that actually feel in my body when I step into a forest that's not just a plantation forest, but it is a forest that's alive with wild animals, herbs, berries, uh, you know, do you know what I mean? Like the, the feeling of aliveness and it has another kind of feeling when you step into a forest like that. All these simple things in life is just what makes me feel so happy and so alive and what is truly is driving me. Um, like, like seeing people get in contact with their own nature again together with nature is just, yeah. <laughs> that is what life is about for me right now, how I feel right now. A question, if I ever feel behind in my own or society's expectations of goals. And yes, I can only say yes to this. And that is about the judgment I have been feeling lately. Choosing a path your own path and a path that is so different from what other is choosing do come with a lot of worries and a lot of feeling behind because the focus for me has not been on making career and and get a lot of material things and especially after i became pregnant and i see you know what feels like for me like for example my little sister that own her own apartment, now bought a car, got a kid, like, you know, she have everything what feels like from the outside under control. And when things, um, when you're doing your own company and you live so different and you have to guess your way through, uh, it can sometimes feels like, oh my God, I need to grow up. I need to get things under control, even though I know that is not true for people that also take the normal path. Um, but it can feel lonely and um, yeah, to step on a path, path, nobody can tell you what to do. You just have to listen into your own heart and make that as a guide. Um, and I feel after I came to Sweden, I have been laying flat down and been like, okay, what is it I need to learn? Show me what it is I need to learn. And it has not been an easy road, but it's been a very, very meaningful road. But I do have my weak moments where I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? You know, I'm in my 30s now and I feel I should be, you know, I should have this and this under control and I don't. Um, but when I really think about it and sit down with all these worries and judgmental thoughts and really sit down with it, those things I have been seeking hasn't been missable in our outer world in the same way, you know, getting a good job or uh, climb the career letter, is that how you say it? Um, um, it's not miscible, measurable in the same way. So I have to remind myself that I have done really good. You know, I really, when I think back, the Christine that arrived to Sweden to the Christine now, I have take major jumps and have learned so much and have or, you know, take down my beliefs of how things should be and build myself up again. And I really, and I really think I should be really proud of that. Um, to, to gain all this knowledge, to build up a new business, <laughs> to move to another country, I, into a house I don't know anything about off-grid when I arrived here. Um, 
I done some wild things these three years and I feel I should be really proud of that even though I can sit judging myself because I'm like you're pregnant Christine um, you and Kelly still doesn't have a house that can contain a family you're borrowing a house you're living in right now but again does that really matter you know I'm living in the most beautiful nature uh, I'm waking up to this every day is tough some days um, it's tough to run your own business when you also need to do healing but uh, but in general I'm actually really proud of myself I think I have done well and um, and I know that life is still long and I will get we will get our living situation under control and it would be such a little part of our history and we will look back and laugh at some of the things that has been felt like it was so tough and yeah I, I hope you understand what I'm what I'm trying to say so I'm trying to keep my eyes on the path and those two words of rewind and reconnect that makes me feel so alive and makes me feel like life is worth living because I have tried to live in the city and do career and I was not happy. For me it was not happiness. So now I'm enjoying to go and visit the city and I can go back to this amazing place and create something I feel extremely meaningful. The next question is how how have you changed mentally since your pregnancy? And I feel that's happened a lot. And maybe some of you that have been pregnant can recognize it. I have become more clear on what I want and what I don't want. Uh, for example, moving out of the cabin was not an easy choice into this house um, because there was I was so many mixed feeling of um, letting down Kelly um, and also again a judgmental side of myself like why can't I uh, deal with this living situation when you know women have been pregnant in in similar situation and got through it but again we are different um, I had a history with stress and I want to take that seriously and somehow my ego <laughs> of what I should do and not do, you know, um, didn't became so important anymore. The most important for me was this little guy in here that in a way of taking care of myself, I took care of him and sure that my body has the energy and the capacity to grow this child. Um, that just become the most important thing for me that anything else like of um, trying to you know make it through the forest and could be proud of myself say i did it like all of these things didn't become so important anymore um i feel really now he's important and if he feels good i need to feel good because our nervous system is connected um my health of my body is depending on his health of his body so I feel I become I can also feel it with um, in other situations where for example people are saying something to me or something and I can just feel like like no like I I, I have always been a bit like a people please so it is such a surprise to, to me how um, how no and how uh, clear my boundaries became it's like I become it's like um, I feel it very clear now and I uh, have a hard time taking things in that goes out you know that's not aligned with my boundaries now the best thing about living so rural rural or oh, that's a hard word rural yeah I hope you understand what I'm saying um that is the nature like this wild nature makes me feel so alive i'm 
I'm a nature girl, like all the way through, and I have always been. And um, when I was a kid, um, the best summer holiday was when we lived in our summer house in Denmark, and I could could um, bring my horse and. And I have I have a picture in Denmark I really love. It's a picture of my horse walking on 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 in the garden of the summer house. Our little dog was laying in the garden, and my mom was hang, sleeping in a hang hanger, or was that a call? But she was sleeping out. So it's like I feel like this. I feel so happy from this moment because it feels like exactly what I want. You know, a lot of animals, family, you know, in nature, and. Um, that has always makes me feel really make me feel really happy um so for me moving out here and suddenly be surrounded by so endless amount of nature uh, make my little girl <laughs> inside so happy okay guys um the last question I'm gonna take for now, I'm gonna, there's been so many baby questions about how I'm preparing myself for birth, or what I'm eating, uh, um, yeah, my thoughts about a lot of these upcoming baby things, and I think I'm gonna do a video about that where I'm gonna show you what I'm thinking and what I'm doing, and um, also a lot about holistic, uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, beauty routines and stuff like that and I feel it's more fun to just put them into a video naturally and just show you what I'm doing um, so now I'm gonna take one of the last questions and that is how I earn money if you don't know it I am educated complementary hormone therapist specialized in women's health and hormones and I'm also educated a educated sexuologist. And uh, in Copenhagen, I had clients uh, physically in a clinic. And when I begin to have the idea I want to move out of Copenhagen, then I begin to see, you know, begin to see what I can do. Like I was writing on my Danish blog. I was also writing articles for Danish health magazines. And then I begin to think maybe I also can get my clients to get online. Um, so that is actually what I do today. I have clients online. I'm helping women from all over the world now. It's so crazy. Um, and uh, if you have been thinking about having me as a therapist, you have to do it now because I'm gonna close uh, down my for new clients soon because this guy is coming in April and I would not like to start off with a new client just before. So you can read more about that in the description. The other things that is a main income for me is my lovely online women's circle and I love that forum so much and I continue trying to develop it from year to year because I wanted to be even better. I wanted us to even more connect in the group and so I'm seeking like ideas how can I do it all better because this it feels so meaningful to have this online community and also a platform where I can share my honest thoughts, I can share my knowledge and uh, we have these uh, live streams, hangouts, where we can talk to each other and you guys can ask me questions and I can hear your voices, I can see your face if they want to. We have had uh, book clubs, we're gonna have more book clubs where we're reading a book together and discuss it. Um, and right now I'm working on a theme of uh, winter and how to support your woman body through winter and um, and also that we had a really fun, um, me and Kelly did like an interview where we talked about the differences between man and woman in a relationship. Also really digging deep into digestive system, like why are we so many to have problems with our digestive system, uh, how is that connected to both physical but also our mental health. and. Yeah, so <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of interesting things coming up and I want this to be a platform where you really get to know your woman body and how to 
make you healthy and stronger through uh, yeah through each month and also be a place where you could just share a bit your thoughts because it's not always easy to <laughs> be a human, a human in this life um, and that's what I love with the live streams because I feel I can be really honest and you guys are very honest so I just want to thank you guys that's in the online woman circle you are one of the main reasons that I can make videos and I can continue working and helping women all over the world um, that community it just means so much to me so thank you okay i think i want to wrap this up now and uh, i have a question for you guys actually now where i have shared my two words uh, reconnect and rewild i would love to know what is your word of 2024 uh, what is happening inside of you that would be so much fun like that would be so inspiring to see what going on inside of you guys so please let me know in the comment field that would be that would be really be amazing and for now just thank you so much for watching this video thank you for showing up on my channel and come with so many loving thoughts in the comment field it means a lot to me so thank you guys and i send you all a big hug